guys, it's Pum back here, and today I'm going to update you guys about my cameras in 2020. So, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, so we're going to start with the first camera, which is the oldest one, I think. This JVC camcorder. This is a JVC GZ or GC MG575 bad now I, I, I it just the battery I can't charge it again but the problem is that if I charge it I hit record <coughs> but I can't stop it and I can't even close it so yeah the second camera that I was vlogging for many 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 time Canon XS115 HS right here this is my go-to camera it's amazing, it can shoot up to full HD 24 frames per second. And it's tiny, it's tiny. First, this thing has a lens problem that the lens will not come out or close in. And I find a way to just twist it or something and it works. But now it's dead. Again, let's do it. just do a water balloon exploding thing and this could do slow-mo, so yeah. I think that's it for these things. But I love this thing. This is amazing. But it doesn't have to flip the screen and the focus is kinda kinda yeah, it's kinda slow. So the third camera on this list is this Fujifilm X U one hundred that I am using. I am not going to tell you my setup because I don't have my phone and my brother's using my mom's iPhone 11, so it's my son. So we're going to just tell you all things. So the setup right now is I'm using this XT100 attached with the Fuji, Fuji, not a personal lens, the Fuji, the Fuji film lens, 50 to 230, the zoomy zoom lens, the XT50 to 230. It's actually pretty great, as you guys can see. This is raw footage I haven't edited I haven't done anything and the microphone that I'm using is the Saramonic SRM3 yes the SRM3 the thing I don't like about this thing is it focuses kind of slow no. if I use the kit lens if I use the 15 to 45 millimeter it will actually still be yeah kind of slow because this thing only has just like 91 focus point and not all of them are face detection. And the second thing is that the microphone jack is just 2.5 minutes. But actually, yeah, it still performs great because I just bought an adapter and it's still pretty great of using it. So, yeah, it is. Fourth camera that I'm using is this fake GoPro 4. Trust me, I'm calling fake GoPro because I have a GoPro. Wait. Okay, that's right here. This is the real GoPro Hero 4, and this is a fake one. If you don't see it, I will get it out of the case. Okay. Yeah, just look. So nearly the same. But this thing is just so light, this thing is heavy. So yeah, pretty bad this exactly. thing. This could do up to 1080p, but only 15 the frames. This camera, yeah, listen with this one. Just listen when it turns on. Yeah, that's a noise that it turns. Digital zoom, which, yeah, look. Yeah, you can, I can see. Pretty bad quality, and it doesn't even have a wide. So normally when I'm vlogging GoPro, I can vlog like this. But with this, I have to extend my hand all the way because the lens is so, so cross. The fifth camera is the GoPro Hero this 4. GoPro Hero 4 shoots in 4K, 15 frames per second, like this X100. Oh, the other thing is, this X100 can only shoot up to 4K 15. It can't shoot 4K 30. This thing can also do up to 4K 15 frames and it can do full HD 60 frames per second and it's small. But it isn't waterproof. You need a waterproof case. Okay. 
this GoPro can do time lapse, can do all those things. This could do HD 720p 240 frames. But if I want WVGA 240 frames per second. This is amazing. This XC100 can do up to only 100 frames per second. Six camera. We have another Canon camera. This is a Canon XS185. 185. XS185. 185. Right here, the name. Yeah, XS185. This thing, I also broke it. It zooms in, but it will not zoom out. Listen. This can do only up to 720p, 3 frames per second. My main compact camera. If the memory card didn't broke, yeah, this thing, the memory card is completely dead. I can't use it, but yeah, the camera's are fine. Six camera. This old school Canon PowerShot A70. Yeah, it's a Canon PowerShot A70. The thing I love about this PowerShot A70 is that it's easy to hold. The grip is bigger than this X-T100. It's nearly the same size as my X-T100. But I love it because the grip is huge. The shutter button is on the grip and it's just like, it has a viewfinder, I can just get inside. It's actually, this sort of viewfinder, just like you can look straight through, not like with the lenses, like this actually, not a digital viewfinder. This could do up to 3.2 megapixel photo. Mm, pretty great. This thing doesn't use SD card. What are you asking? Using a compact flash. If something is blurry, it's with the focus of this XC100, just trust me. And it doesn't use normal battery. It used this sort of battery, 9 volt battery. But I still love this thing. Digital zoom, oh, optical zoom, but power zoom. It has a mode dial. Okay, so I think that's all of my 2020 stuff. I think I will go edit this post for you guys. I think I will see you guys in the next vlog. Stay safe out there. Stay safe, wash your hands, and see you guys in the next vlog.